just want to give a sincere gratitude and appreciation to the men and women uh, that have served this country. And um, I just want to let them know that we don't take for granted when we get an opportunity to wear a symbolism of to, that represents them and their sacrifice. And um, before I even talked about the game, I just wanted to talk about that because this is our Veterans Day game. And I think some people see it and they say, oh, they get to wear really cool clothing. Uh, but for me, it means something in the circle I ask um, the people on the staff, how many people have veterans in their family? And there was at least 10 people, you know? And so that was really cool to just talk about that and say, hey, you know, they have made tons of sacrifices uh, for, for us. Let's show that we can make sacrifices for each other in that symbolism. So just wanted to, to make that mention. Uh, I, thought, I thought Temple had no quit. I thought they came out and played hard. Uh, they could have packed it up and went back home after the first half, and they came out swinging in the third quarter. Um, and so uh, kudos to Coach Diane and, and what she's done. She's a good, good friend of mine. As far as our team is concerned, uh, you know, we're just trying to get 1% better every day, like Carissa said. I was really – there were a lot of things that I really liked. Uh, David, you asked about that bad taste. It was, uh, <laughs> I, I have not slept since that loss. It's just, I've been, I have been a, an emotional wreck since that loss, mainly because I pride myself on the defensive end, you know, and I didn't think we did a good job. Uh, we're not that defensive team yet that we're going to be in January. Uh, I think it would be unrealistic with all these new pieces, but I thought we took a step forward today. Coach, you, you didn't start Madison Scott tonight. Yeah. Uh, was that a lineup deal or? Yeah, it was just a coach's. It was a coach's decision. You know, uh, Maddie is in year four. It wasn't a punishment because she didn't play well last game. It was a coach's decision uh, because you know there's a standard that we have and. And she knows that, and, and you know, it should go back to normal. But Or maybe it, not, it won't. You know, she looked great coming off the bench. We had a, a second unit that was ready to go. But uh, tonight was a coach's decision. You all exploded out of the gates, built mm -hmm. a big lead early. Um, obviously, that's something you want to see every single game. Mm -hmm. But how did that make you feel tonight when you all were up by – Double digits yeah. and a little time at all. Well, I, I was really excited in the first half because they only had 26 points. Um, and, 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 and I thought, like, they were incredibly locked in. Uh, they took it personal. And, and I thought that my substituting had been better this game. And I just don't think anybody should be playing 30 minutes right now. And when I looked at uh, the minutes uh, for last game, I had Maddie and KK play 30 minutes. Look at the game KK had because she only played uh, 21 minutes. You get what I'm saying? Like, they don't need a lot of time uh, to be impactful. And so, once again, we had five people in double-digit scoring, you know. So, I'm, but I, I was really glad that Maria stepped up and started for us, you know, to throw a freshman in the fire. We were depending on her to give us some big minutes, her and Zakaya. And I was really pleased with Rita Ibakwe, uh, the way she was able to come in and, and impact us. If there's been an Achilles for your teams, maybe over the last couple of years, it's been the threes not yeah. falling. Mm -hmm. They seem to be falling now. When we take good shots, I feel good about our chances for them to fall, you know? Um, I, think, I think as a unit, though, David, like our whole – staff got excited about the fact that we can make shots and completely went away from our identity, which is dictate and disrupt, you know? And, and, and it's, it's ironic when you, when you play D, then your offense gets easier, you know? And so I thought we were really playing defense at a high level and our offense uh, started to get better and I was really pleased. Could you kind of mention it earlier, but <clears throat> Playing tough defense in the first half, just not allowing the only two billion to go in and stop into the three-pointer. Mm -hmm. 
Because part of the league going forward. Well, it, 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 it's a step in the right direction, you know. Uh, after every loss, y'all, I learned. And I just felt like when we played Oklahoma, I felt like it was a tsunami wave. Every couple minutes, it was another group coming in. And when you have 15 young women, 13 that can play, uh, if you want to keep them happy, they got to feel like they got a chance. Uh, and, and any coach, I, I'm just telling you, like, in today's society, you know, people, they're not happy about having to sit and, and watch. They want an opportunity. Now, they should want that opportunity and practice and prove themselves, right? Uh, but what is the hurt when you can give them a chance so that you can have more film and say, maybe this is why you're not playing or this is why you should play. And so I took a page out of uh, Jenny's book and I said, you know what? I'm gonna go platoon style and just play a lot of people because I'm gonna use non-conference to really see what I got. We, we talked about Maddie Scott. Um, in, in the last couple of games, she's kind of faded to the background a little bit. Um, any concern there that your double-digit scorer and rebounder is kind of kind of faded a little bit the last um, couple? Not really. You know, uh, I just think Maddie, as a, a senior, has a lot of pressure, uh, a lot of things um, going on. And I think, I, I believe in her. So I think she'll be able to turn it around. But honestly, um, David, you know, we love what Maddie brings, but as long as she's bringing that defensive de intensity, like Maddie is on WNBA draft boards because of her defense, because of her activity, because of her passion. Um, you know, we, we never looked at her. She has never been this prolific scorer. You get what I'm saying? Usually she gets those points when she's super active. So one thing I'm going to talk to her about is making sure she needs to just be active. Now, I'm not running a lot of sets to her easy because, you know, we're running motion. And so you kind of got to eat and you got to trust your skill and stuff like that. And I think as she continues to get comf comfortable in this new um, offensive system and understands, like, man, I used to score all these points and get all these rebounds when I was active, I think she'll come along, you, you know. But for, but I but I'm hoping that now that we're not relying on her to score all these points when in high school even that I mean the kid was a McDonald's All American I think she averaged 12 you know uh, uh, people love Maddie because of her length the fact that she can guard one through five she's active she has uh, skill and so I think she'll hopefully she'll have a, blog, a big a big game in the Bahamas uh, that will continue to help us go to, go to where we want to go. How excited are you to be going home? I'm incredibly excited, but I'm only now just excited because I told you I have been depressed for the, <laughs> for the last 48 hours. So I'm excited uh, because we, we always draw a good crowd. Uh, people are going to come out and support us. Um, it's a lot of pride. I hate that Rima has a concussion, uh, but she's going to travel with us, so she's still out. And uh, but it's it's always great to be back home, and it feels like a home game when we go. Coach KK, I don't have a stat sheet for yeah. that. I know at least triple double watch for yeah, her. almost just, yeah yeah almost. I mean, just such a complete point guard, being yeah. able to do everything, not just mm -hmm. score, but really seemed like a lot of the offense running through her when she was on the field on the court. Yeah, uh, just kind of what she do for you guys on the field. You know, uh, I thought KK. Had a solid game. I was not happy with the turnovers. She had four turnovers. But two of them, she was really looking to get the ball off the floor so I can live with that. So let's go ahead and cancel those two. She really had two turnovers. Uh, KK can do what she did tonight every night. KK has to just figure out how to do that within the flow of what we're trying to do. Uh, and KK got his to guard. If we can get our team to all buy in defensively, I think everyone realizes now that we have went and got some people that can put the ball in the basket. Carissa Richardson, uh, KK Deans, even Kennedy Todd Williams, Marquisha Davis. Like we got people that naturally can do that. I think for her, you know, she wants to get everybody involved. Um, she's, she's super unselfish. 
Uh, she understands how important it is to make sure that everybody is involved. And I just, I'm really excited about these three games because we need her to continue to grow to take us where we want to go as our league guard. And how encouraging is it to have, you kind of touched on it there, but um, so many in double digits and so many mm -hmm. options out there to score where maybe some of the past teams, when it comes down to crunch time, we there's just not for our out. lives, huh? <laughs> um, I mean, it's, it's good, but here's the thing, you know, for me, I'm not fa falling for the banana in the tailpipe because I went to the Sweet 16 by holding the team to 49 points. You get what I'm saying? So I'm cool with a smooth 55 points, right? I know for the fans, they love it, but for me, my focus and my staff's focus, we want to get this defense tight because if we can do that along with what we can do on the offensive end, I like our chances to do something special this season. Rich, Rich is, Carissa is a, a, she's just a joy to coach. Uh, she's a sophomore. So, you know how many, how many good games is ahead of her? And, and what she's doing now, she deserves it. Because every day in practice, Carissa has taken her conditioning seriously. She, she does extra. She puts in the work. Her teammates have embraced her. She, that's her second career three-pointer. You know, she's super skilled. And so I just – and she's a joy to coach. I just love coaching her, and I think the team loves playing with her. And, if, and we talk about scoring. We, since Kira, we were missing that dominant inside presence now because Maddie is really not a back-to-basket player. So Rich brings that. And I'm excited about her growth. I believe in your opening statement, you mentioned Rita as well. I yeah. Mean, and the, the whole sideline was just getting really, really excited for her when she started kind of going off and putting up those points. Just can you talk a little bit about her development? And, yeah. Well, after the last game, you know, I was really I, – I look at myself first, y'all. And I was really disappointed on how I spread the minutes out. And Rita is a senior. And I just know how much she helps us in really big games when we play legitimate posts. And I just kept saying, like, I got to find some minutes for Rita. Or Rita, she's not the type that will quit on it, but everybody wants to play, especially a senior. And she's been working hard. She's put in the work. And so I was really, really proud to see what she did today. Thanks, everyone. Thank you all. Happy Thanksgiving.